millions for sourcefulness. We the same ones took cornflakes and water and made it some. <laughs> we the same ones took cornflakes and water and made it some. We took toast and, and syrup and called a pancake specialty. We bounce back from anything. They so spoiled out there, they can't handle no adversity. So for me, it's so easy to be successful in business. You can throw anything at me, I'll brush it off. It ain't three years of life in prison. It ain't 15 years in prison. You ain't shooting at me. None of this corporate shit can phase me. I can lose six deals in a row. All right, I'm on to the next one. I ain't going to jail, I'm cool. As long as I'm free and I'm healthy, I'm cool. And that's the point of why I'm doing this corner class. Can I get one for napkins, please? I'm gonna be sweating out this morning. No, I do. <laughs> but that's the reason why I did this corner class. I'm trying to speak directly to our people, whether you are a corner boy or not. You could be all relate. Why? Everybody loved Jay Z, right? From how he started his business, Jeezy, Jay Z, all the trap stars. But not everybody trap. But we all could relate. Whether you hustled yourself or not, your cousin did, your brother did, your uncle did, your baby father's mother, cousin, brothers did. Somebody you know was working these streets. That's our community. That's why we all relate to a Jay Z. We all relate to a Jeezy. Why many of y'all relate to a Jay Morrison? It don't mean that you did what I did or did what Jay-Z did or did what Jeezy did. You just understand what we go through as a people. My point is that if you take the same courage that you take maneuvering through these streets of the, the, the roughest city in America, Chi-Town, we all know that. But I've been to South Central, I've been to Bankhead, I've been to Dallas, I've been to Hartford, Connecticut, I've been to Baltimore, I've been to North New Jersey, hustled in North New Jersey, hustled in Baltimore. But you take the same courage that you have here in Chi-Town Maneuver through these streets and ready to lock and load on somebody at any given sign of disrespect. You take that same courage and say, you know what? Let me try something different. Let me pull my pants up a little bit and throw something a little on and go see what I could do over here on this side where I can't get locked up, can't get shot, can't be dead or in jail. What might happen if I try this shit a little bit? And that's all I did. When I left the block in North New Jersey on 10th and Springfield, I left at 25 years old, approaching 25 years 